explain something. You ordered? How? How are you getting in? Company secrets. I was just editing my TBR. Please tell me you are not here to mess it up. It's not my fault you keep ordering books. No, 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 no. It's funny that you think I have control over buying books. We just leave that up to divine providence and he hasn't stopped me yet. Well, uh, hey, listen, I got some news. News? New mustache? Do you like it? Uh, no, no. The news is book of the month is now shipping to Canada. No. No way. All of Canada? Yes. You finally got the moose to do it? Uh, I think it was the polar bears actually. Not all of Canada. Manitoba? Yes. Saskatoon? That one sounds like a made up place, but sure. Prince Edward Island? Yes. What about the Northwest Territories? I don't even know where that is, but yes. I mean, I can tell all of my Canadian neighbors that they can now rifle through the newest releases and pick from yep. one of the month's five to seven selections a month and they will just show up? Ready to go on their Canadian doorstep? Yes. Listen, would you like to see your books? <gasps> Thistlefoot. This one I wanted because I heard it's based off of Jewish mythology and it has to do with Baba Yaga. You know what? I've been uh, reading myself a little bit recently. <gasps> Hester. This is about Nathaniel Hawthorne falling in love. Nathaniel who? So I can really tell my countrymen that you can use Emmy to get your first box for $9.99? Yep. They can use their loonies and toonies as much as they'd like. You know what? Let me give you something as a token of my gratitude. I think I got it in here somewhere. Ah, there you go. This is half used. That stuff's expensive. That's from my own fridge. I'll save it for the road. Where are you off to next? Uh, yeah, I gotta head out to, uh, Medicine Hat now. Where is that? Ooh, that's a chilly one. This way? Hey, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. Welcome back to this week's vlog. I haven't sat down to film a vlog in a couple of weeks. He just wants on the counter. He's gonna jump on the counter any second now. I can feel it in my gut. Hold on. Can't be on here. This is basically gonna be, I think, getting my life together there are so many things happening at once that i it's i'm having a hard time the anxiety is at its max carolyn has been gone if you don't know <gasps> Kelsifer, nine stop carolyn has been gone for a couple weeks or like a week and a half now um and i've just been so sad <laughs> so sad i think I, I honestly think i should just start planning my trip over there so this week I have a bajillion things to do. Today is Friday. I'm starting the vlog on Friday. A couple of my best friends are about to be here in like an hour. So I've just been tidying things up a little bit. They're just coming to visit because they're here in Toronto to see the killers, which I am very jealous about because I also love the killers. I just don't like big crowds. And then tomorrow night I'm going to a concert, but it's a very, it's a much smaller concert. I'm going to a Studio Ghibli, like classical candlelit concert with my partner and I'm really excited about it. So that's tomorrow night. And then in the meantime, I need to pack because on Tuesday, Kelsifer and I are going on a trip. Kelsifer and I are going back to my hometown. I'm gonna go stay with my parents for, for four days with Kelsifer because <laughs> <laughs> the week after I get back from my parents' house with Kelsifer, my partner and I will be flying to 
Iceland. I've never been to Iceland. I'm so excited. I'm just ridiculously excited. So I need to get everything done. And the reason that I'm going with Kelsford to my parents' house is because my parents will be watching him. Thank you. When we are in Iceland, so he has somewhere to stay. He has people 24 seven with him. And I'm just, you know, making sure he's gonna be acclimated there, know them, have a good time, get everything sorted and just get him used to the house, even though he's already been there once before, but I just wanna go and, you know, He's my son. I just want to go and make sure he's okay. About a week after I get back from my parents, I'll be flying out to Iceland. Lots of things happening. And in the meantime, I also started my last course for university, my last course of my degree, which is women writing. It's all online. And so I need to do work in that and also get ahead in that and also do YouTube work like my job. Hi. And get ahead in that. I have a lot of sponsored content. I need to do super early so there's just a bajillion things going on my anxiety is has just been through the roof i think the big city just does not get on particularly well with my anxiety or the other way around so there's just been a lot of panic attacks unfortunately which are just the worst this is what i'm currently reading i thought i would show you let's talk about martin chuzzlewit because i don't know how i'm gonna be finishing this. I truly don't know how I'm gonna finish this. Um, I am 185 pages in and first of all look at this bookmark that one of you made me. So freaking cute. I honestly don't know how I'm gonna finish this. I want to DNF this so incredibly badly. I think this is Dickens' worst work ever. Like I truly truly do. The audiobook is 40 hours. I, Carolyn and I are both struggling. I'm pretty sure anyone else who is reading this for our little book club is also struggling. Okay. He's playing with his little mouse. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really don't know what I'm gonna do about this one. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I got 200 pages through, but it's 700 pages. Um, and then <laughs> so here's another thing. Here's another thing that happened. I started rereading A Game of Thrones. Why? This is entirely Carolyn's doing, entirely her fault. She was over and she started reading it because she just started watching the show for the first time. And then she started reading it for the first time and she was just having the best time ever with it that I was like, I want to read it too. Like, it's just so good. Um, so I'm already 300 pages in, which is pretty good. The fall vibes are immaculate. Look, this is also a gift. Thank you so much. Like, look at how stunning. And my nails. Ugh. Yesterday was the first day of fall and it's finally cold enough to actually wear a little sweater. Um, it's just so it's actually so good i'm 300 pages in and i just i forgot how good the book was it is definitely better than the show i was kind of deliberating on that one but um i'm just having the time of my life with it and i didn't want to start rereading it because i know the last book isn't out and you know the whole shebang but um it's just truly so good i have like been flying through this and so i think i'm gonna take this with me when i leave on tuesday i'm gonna throw this in my suitcase to go to my parents house and i'm probably also gonna bring with me the Shadow of the Wind, which is the other book I'm currently reading. I'm listening to this one on audiobook. This copy is actually from Lucy over at Crescent Pages. She was um, unhauling it and I was like, I will take that because I really want to read it. My nails match the cover. Yes, this is going to be my pick for Spain, I believe, for around the world. So The Shadow of the Wind is extremely famous. Uh, I don't really know too much of what it's about. So far we're following Danielle who finds this book called The Shadow of the Wind in like the library of forgotten books. And he is tasked with like being responsible for that book, making sure it doesn't um, slide into the abyss of forgotten literature. But he finds out that like someone has been going around destroying Cadax's like work, who is the author of The Shadow of the Wind in this book. And he doesn't know why. And now there's this mysterious man like following him and asking him to give him the book for exorbitant sums of money and he obviously wants to destroy it and so he doesn't know. He doesn't really know why everyone's trying to destroy this author's work but that's what it's about. So far it's okay. I actually started like highlighting some sentences because they were so beautiful. Like this one, there's no such thing as a dead language, only dormant minds. I thought that was really beautiful um, and there's just been like some other really nice passages so that is the shadow of the wind and then a game of thrones and i'm having a good time and then i'm not having a good time so those are my reading updates right now i'm gonna go have a little spot of food before my friends get here i'm not sure what we're doing i don't think they'll be here for super long but after that i need to do a bunch of youtube work and then i need to finish packing welcome to the vlog of just 
getting my life together. There's so much going on. Let's get things organized. So, I just finished filming a spooky video for my channel, so, uh, my channel, you're on my channel. The That was quite productive, it is already pretty late, it's Sunday night, but I still have a ton to do. I finished editing a video a couple hours ago, which was really great, so I just uploaded that, I'll have to check on that. I just made a little bit of coffee, and today I went out and we kind of spoiled Kelsifer. We bought Kelsifer a bunch of new things, what else is new, we just got him. A bunch of stuff um, especially because he'll be coming with me on Tuesday which is really really soon so I just you know got him some essentials and got him some new toys and stuff anyway I'll show you later but I just finished filming this video which is really great I am about to I think either plan for our trip next month so I thought I would talk a little bit about that I've never been more excited I have not been out of the country since high school um and i'm so excited i'm so excited so we're going to iceland we're going to be going for a little over a week we actually had three options we were kind of wanting to still just stay in canada and travel around canada we really wanted to go back to the mountains because i we were both obsessed with alberta banff um, but we wanted to do maybe jasper so we were thinking either jasper or the east coast of canada like nova scotia or newfoundland or even pei prince edward island but Let's discuss travel in Canada. Number one, too expensive. Extremely expensive to travel anywhere in Canada because there is a huge amount of land to cover no matter where you're going, even out of your own driveway. And we don't have a lot of people. Transportation, not a super lot of options for transportation. And so literally traveling to either Alberta or out east cost more. Ended up being more money than going abroad. I decided on Iceland and so I've been trying my best to plan everything. We're going to be renting a car to get around which is another thing. We have a couple of tours booked. Um, we booked through Iceland Air which was really great because they have really good deals on. We're mostly going to be exploring I think the south east definitely south and a little bit southeast of Iceland. I'm beyond excited but I just had so many things to do. Um, I need to get some actual like winter hiking boots. Iceland in October isn't like winter winter weather for like me being a Canadian in Ontario it's nothing close to that it's more like I guess spring and typical fall weather but very rainy and very windy I've heard so I'm gonna definitely bring my winter coat anyway and just warm clothes because we're probably gonna be outside pretty much all of the trip I'm so sad that we just like just missed I think by a month one of the coolest um, eruptions in Iceland but I think we will still be going to that volcano I've never seen a volcano in my life so yeah just very excited but I don't want to talk too much about it here because I'll I'll just end up showing you it in a vlog. I also need to do a bunch of schoolwork because I haven't done any work for this week's module and today is Sunday night. So I'm gonna try and cram it in all tonight, hence why I have my coffee. First things first, I think I'm gonna clean up the room. I almost finished my packing for home. I have tomorrow to do that too. There's just a lot going on, but that is the update on the trip. I can kind of show you what I have planned now. Um, if you have recommendations for Iceland, feel free to leave them in this video because I will probably still be able to see them when I'm there. First of all, what were you doing in the bag? Were you enjoying your bag time? Yeah? Have a nose boop? Yeah. Yeah, did you get a new toy? <laughs> okay, so we got him, Kelsfair. The people can't see me, your stomach's in the way. Hey. We got him his first collar. It has his name on it. We got it engraved with his name if that's gonna focus. This is just gonna be for like going out and stuff if we go outside. We got him a collar. I also got him a bunch of new food that I'm gonna be taking with me on Tuesday. And we also got him like a new toy. We got him like a new feather toy that, yep. <gasps> I 
I finished my module. We're currently studying Jane Eyre. So I finished module two tonight, which is great. It's over, but I'm already supposed to be on module three. So I'll probably start that tomorrow or maybe I'll just do it when I get back to my parents' house. But I also just posted a poll on Instagram because I was saying that I was listening to The Shadow of the Wind on audio and I did manage to get 100 pages through um, and I'm really not into it. I actually did pick this up a couple years ago or three, two or three years ago on audio as well and I just could not get into it. I just don't think it's really the book for me. I'm someone who doesn't actually really enjoy books about books, which is maybe surprising, but that's just not really my thing. I find it just kind of boring and it's kind of always the same thing being reshuffled around, but I did get 100 pages in and I'm just not thrilled with it at all. Like I did tab a couple things because I thought the writing was cool to begin with, but the further and further I got into it, the more I was just like, this is so not. So I asked you guys if I should um, DNF it or if it does get any better. I just see this becoming like kind of the same situation as the alchemist like not as bad as the alchemist and right now the poll is like more of you are saying to just put it down and it's not that great than you are saying like keep going it's better so i think i'm gonna dnf it i even had a nice bookmark a nice spain bookmark which is also a gift from one of you guys thank you you guys supply me with all the bookmarks in my life apparently but i think i'm gonna dnf it and I might even unhaul it. I do have Marina on my shelf also by the same author. I think now I'm gonna get ready for bed, do my skincare, probably make some avocado toast before bed. Today is a very gloomy day. I got another video filmed this morning, which is really good. After that, I did plan a few more days, so I got a couple more days of the Iceland plip, plip, Iceland trip planned, like the itinerary down, which is great. And I'm currently trying to book a whale watching boat tour situation, so that's what I'm working on right now, just finalizing that one, and then I think I'll take a break from that. But the other thing I need to do today, or I'm gonna try to do, is like see what books or textbooks I need to order. I don't really need any textbooks, it's just like novels or essays for my women writers course to see like where I'm, you know, gonna be reading them if I need to buy anything. I don't think so. The next big novel after Jane Eyre that we're reading is Wide Sargasso Sea, which has quite a lot to do with Jane Eyre, and I do already have that book. I haven't read it, um, but there are a couple other pieces that I'm kind of foggy on where to actually get them, so that's what we're gonna do right now.
today's little mini session section of getting my life together i cleaned the apartment it's looking good it's looking good in here i even vacuumed i cleaned pretty much every single room and um it's looking a lot better just because like when i leave for vacation i want to come back to a nice apartment second thing on the to-do list today i need to start wide sargasso sea by Jean Reese. Um, this is for my course and I didn't know it was actually this short. I thought it was a bit longer so this is reassuring. It is only 150-ish pages and this is, I love, I love this cover. I love this edition. Um, this is the Penguin Modern Classics edition but um, I've never read this. I know this is um, not really a reimagining but it does play around with a lot of things in Jane Eyre that Jean Reese expounds upon. So anyway, I need to start this because this is the current module that I'm on and then I started my paper it's just like a response paper it's not really an essay although it kind of is an essay I chose to do it on um, the laugh of the Medusa as well as the yellow wallpaper which should be um, pretty easy going and fun he's he's cracked so yesterday I read through both of the texts and took notes the yellow wallpaper I've read a million billion times but um, yeah so i need to just formulate my points get a little thesis going and yeah it's due in like three days so i should probably get a pretty big head start on that today and then secondly i just want to plan out the last day of our iceland trip because i have the itinerary pretty much mapped out for every single day except for our last full day there and i think we want to go to one of the national parks that's more like a little northeast of Reykjavik so that's what i'm planning but yeah a lot on the docket today and also a lot of filming to do so let's get started with maybe starting this first we'll just get a little bit of a head start on this and see what happens It's very loud because I have the door open, but I just went through because the other day I highlighted all my quotes in the yellow wallpaper that I wanted to use as well as in the laugh of the Medusa. Let me close this. I matched the sections of each that I wanted to use and then I just like numbered the quotes in each and then matched them like in my essay outline so I know where everything's gonna go. So I don't, I might start writing tonight, but I still have a few days and it's really not a long paper. So I feel really good that like, I've been doing a little bit on it every single day, even if I haven't actually started writing. Um, but what do I need to do still? I think I might sit down now and plan out the last Iceland day. And I can tell you a little bit maybe about my itinerary. So for our last day in Iceland, I think I want to go to Tingvellir National Park. You know what? Let me pronounce, I would love to learn some Icelandic before I go. Um, is it gonna happen? I don't know. Thingvellir. Okay, well that wasn't good. Thingvellir, Iceland. Thingvellir. Thingvellir. I don't know, but there is like a place where you can go to walk between the tectonic plates because it's where the North American tectonic plate ends and where the Eurasian one starts. So that sounds really cool. Um, and it's like a gorge. Almanaya. Almanaya. 
Almanaya Gorge. Almanaya Gorge. Okay, so that's what we want to do because that sounds fun. I have my whole itinerary on Notion and then I'm, I'll just take screenshots of it as well in case I don't have internet or something. Okay, so one of the last things I was doing for my trip, I put in an order for some clothes, mostly just pants, like ski pants and like waterproof pants because Iceland is apparently very rainy in October, but I also ordered um, this crew neck, which I love. I got this from Old Navy. I'll see if I can link it down below, but it is seriously the coziest thing ever. Um, I just got a medium because I wanted a little bit oversizedness going on, but I am so happy. I so it's so cozy and i think this is gonna be perfect all in all still have a very few busy days ahead of me uh today and tomorrow today's gonna be like an extremely big editing day i just went out grabbed some packages um and now i'm back so i think i'm going to just make some food and a drink and just get my butt down to editing i just wanted to say thank you thank you so much for coming along with me on this um getting my life together vlog i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you'd like to see more of this kind of content and i'm gonna go throw this in my suitcase now this is kind of the situation i have going on here but um yes so until the next one thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> kelsiver says goodbye as well so ciao